Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Nope, I'm a journalist. Oh. Did you know a journalist won the Nobel Peace Prize today? No. So I wanted to tell you that right there, uh -huh. you have the power of journalism in your hands. So keep it up, take shots, record everything. Yeah. The job of a journalist is not just to inform the public, but it's to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. That's what cop watchers do when they're recording the police. And that's what we do when we're out recording others who are not used to being recorded in public. Because when we have transparency and we can all see what's going on in public, that's when we know that the journalists are doing their jobs. And that's when we know that we're keeping the peace. Anyway, so keep filming. I'm 57, I'm a grandma, and I film the police, and I put it up on YouTube. Awesome. Hey, sir. I just wanted to ask you a question. Do they get a permit to do this? Is that why you're out here? In all my years of recording public officials and police, this police officer was perhaps one of the best I've ever interviewed or recorded. He was a pleasant surprise. He was professional, he answered my questions, he was courteous, he was well-trained, and he would make any mother or grandmother proud that he wears a uniform and is comfortable in his job. I appreciate you out here. What's your name? I'm Officer Kine. Officer Kine. And are you police or are you? I'm a peace officer lifeguard in California State Parks. Wow, you have a lot of skills. So it's a long time. So you, so you, are, you work for the State Parks? Yep. And then you um, do these kind of events when they do a permit. Right. Because you're lifeguard trained? Yep. So you had to get lifeguard certified. You had to go through all that training. Yep. Then you went through peace officer training too? Yep. So are you licensed to carry a gun? Add a guy. Yep. Okay. And so so do you have a badge number? Yeah, badge one, two, three, four. Beep, beep. So you are licensed with the state, um, not through highway patrol or anything else? Through state parks. Through state parks. Okay, I didn't know that was a whole separate agency. So more public records requests for me. Exactly. Okay, great. Thank you. I yep. appreciate it. Thank you. Right there on that public beach, Officer Kine defined what policing should look like and what we imagine it to be. He didn't escalate because I was recording him. He answered my questions courteously and he provided me information. And he had no problem being transparent and accountable for what he was doing in his job. His truck was left wide open so that I re could record his equipment and the tools that he uses for his job. His supervisors could make sure that he was doing the job the way that he is supposed to and that he's following his training. And his colleagues have an opportunity to look at it as well. That didn't seem to bother him. I looked up his pay. He makes $111,000 a year, and that includes with his overtime for working special events. That isn't enough money to buy a house in California and yet he was one of the most experienced, well-trained, and professional police officers that I have met. This was a swimming event that he was retained to oversee for public safety. That buoy is a Dorito, and the people have to swim around it. They're all ages. They have old-fashioned timekeepers using clipboards and checking with each other. They all know the rules, and they follow the rules. They're recording each other, and nobody was bothered by my recording them. They were happy to be together because last year they weren't able to have their event due to the pandemic. And this year they were lucky enough to have Officer Pine watching out for them and their children.